Hello and welcome to another episode of Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres weekly every Saturday 3pm UK time and the live chat is there as a support group, a coffee morning, however you want to use it. It's just there so that we can all support each other. So let's crack on. Firstly, I just want to let you know where my contacts and nails come from. So I got these contacts from Just For Kira. I will link the website in the description box below. I'm not doing so well here today. Um, and these are Norco Green. These ones here. Mirage Colour. Um, they apparently last for one year. So we shall see. I actually got these on a recommendation from my friend Elena. I will link her channel in the description box below also. She is fantastic. So yes, that is my contacts. And then my nails. These. I was recommended these by my friend Bridget. Um, hopefully you are here in the chat, my lovely. So they come from Colour Street. It's a US brand. So I got these from a friend of Bridget. So Bridget, if you could hook anyone up that wants to know, that would be wonderful. They were so easy to apply. Like they come on these strips and you peel off the thin plastic layer and then you peel off the nail varnish. It is a strip of actual nail varnish. So once you've peeled that off and taken the tab off, you kind of stick it over your nail and press it down. And then at the end, you just kind of press it into the ends and then get a nail file and file it off. So yes, that was contacts and nails. So let's get on into the makeup. So after starting to film my collection and declutter series, I was reminded that I haven't used this in a while. So this is the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Uh, I have used a lot of this, as you can see. So today's Karma Chameleon is more than likely going to be a lot longer because I was asked by a couple of my lovely friends um, if, if I would do everything step by step, which I am more than happy to do. So if this goes on for too long and you're busy, then feel free to drop out and watch the rest later. I do really enjoy this uh, primer. And the foundation I'm going to be going in with is the Zoeva Authentic Skin. I have it in the shade 040W Artist. So, what have you guys been up to this week? Have you uh, done anything exciting? How's your week been? So this week I've been trying to get on the exercise bike a bit. My wonderful boyfriend picked me up a secondhand um, exercise bike to try and help strengthen my legs and my knees. Um, I do need to have somebody there to be able to use it because I'm still not very steady getting on and off of it. So hopefully that will help to build up the strength back in my legs. and. And my knees, because my knees have just, they just seem to be getting progressively worse, um, which is not fun. I did have a meeting with the occupational health doctor and he really believes that I should be getting physio. So I have made an appointment with my doctor's surgery for, for Tuesday to uh, to see if I can get that ball rolling because it's so frustrating not being able to uh, to walk anywhere I can't just nip to the shop so yeah it's uh it's getting me down quite a lot now although I'm doing everything I can to remain positive because there are positives I think there always are if you look for them. I do really enjoy this foundation. I actually was reminded when doing my collection and declutter video 
on the uh, primers, concealers and foundations. The, I have the MUA foundation and I hadn't used it in such a long time that I really wanted to kind of retry it. So yesterday when I was filming I uh, I used that foundation again. Well, let me show you. So this is the foundation and it's only cheap, it's like five five six quid um sorry that's british pounds um i don't know if you can get mua in america or anywhere else but this is a really nice affordable one and it's fantastic it is such a beautiful foundation i was reminded of that when i used it yesterday yeah this zoeva foundation really looks like skin you have to excuse the pink staining on my eyelids. I've used quite a bit of bright pink <laughs> recently. It doesn't worry me because I just cover it up with the eye primer. But for you guys at the moment, it probably looks a little bit funny. Then the concealer I'm going in with is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. This is a firm favourite. a few bits up there so I'm really finding my collection and declutter series difficult I'm not very good at getting rid of anything and uh, and unfortunately there are things that I need to part with because they're either I'm not reaching for them and they're going to waste in my collection or uh, they don't suit my skin anymore or some are just out of date they're just old and don't perform anymore so uh, it's very necessary and obviously being a youtuber I have m far more makeup than anyone would need but that kind of comes along with being a YouTuber, trying new products and yeah. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, that is a series that I am working on at the moment. So I have had a couple of people ask if I would do a how-to video with the water activated liners. And that got me thinking that maybe I could do a kind of how do I apply series so like how do I apply false lashes um, cream products the water activated liners just anything like that what would you guys think of that do you think it's worth having a series or just the odd video so I'm thinking about it I don't know if there's many things that you would want to see how are applied so if there's anything that you would like me to make a video how I apply then yeah do let me know just drop me a note in the comment section below and I will get on that so on to cream contour I'm going in with my Sosu cream contour stick in cool um, if you're in the UK you can get this from Beauty Bay it is my favourite cream contour so I just get a bit on a brush I love this brush for contouring because it helps you get just the right placement so that you don't kind of go off everywhere I'm not doing very well here See, because of the sun shining in so brightly, I've had to kind of move my setup a little bit. And it's really kind of knocked me off, kind of set me off balance. I don't know. I'm just such an awkward person. <laughs> and I think anybody that knows me will probably tell you the same. So this week I had um, some singles from the Pastel Roses arrive 
Um, I'm so excited to try them. So with the Collection and Declutter series, obviously with my single shadows, I wouldn't be getting rid of any, but would you be interested in a collection video that shows all of my single shadows? Because if that's something you're interested in, then I'd be more than happy to do it. So yeah, let me know if, uh, if you'd like that or if you're really just not bothered. Yeah, so this brush is is the Spectrum CO2, CO2, yeah, yeah, Spectrum CO2, and if you are a fan of cream contour, I recommend this. So I just had to take a quick break just to uh, get another water because I'm not sure which one out of my meds is doing it but my mouth just keeps drying out so bad and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. Strange. But anyways, I completely forgot what I was talking about so uh, yeah. So for cream blush I'm using the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick in Glimmering Guava. I haven't set under my eyes because I'm trying not to do that because I have been finding recently that where they're quite dry, they don't need to be kind of set. I think a lot of it depends on uh, what concealer I'm using as well. I've really got into cream blushes recently, well, cream contour, cream blushes. Um, I, th I think they're amazing. I think if you want to go for a day where you look more glowy, more dewy and less matte, that these are perfect for just an, an all cream base. I do put a bit extra of the cream blush on because uh, by the time you've set it with powder, you kind of lose some of the colour you kind of lose some of the colour. However, I'm just going to go over the edges with my foundation brush just so there's no harsh lines there. So it all blends in together. Perfect. So for powder I'm using the OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder Translucent. It is another powder that I adore. So I'm not using much at all. And I'm just kind of almost pressing it on. So I've completely blanked on whatever I was talking to you about. So we're just going to move on. For my brows, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Liner and Brow Gel. It's in the shade Espresso. And I just take a bit, like dig a bit out. And then I put it in the lid and then flatten my brush into it. Just like so the end of the brush is covered but there's not too much product on it. So this past week I have discovered some more indie brands and I do have some packages on their way to me so you will be seeing videos coming up soon on some brands that you may not have heard of or haven't tried. So it's so difficult to talk whilst doing my brows. So this week I'm trying to do everything on camera, all steps. 
and uh, see what see what you guys think of it. I think maybe for the Karma Chameleon videos that it might be nice to have them a bit on the longer side, just uh, just to give everyone longer to chat. And yeah, and also you get to see um, how I put on everything. So apparently we are going for thinner brows today. Just need to have some water. I've never liked water, but recently I've been trying to make myself drink as much as possible because I think a lot of the weight I have on me um, is water retention. So fingers crossed, I can kind of flush it away. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, if you have any other suggestions on how to, how to uh, get rid of water retention, then do let me know because I've, uh, this is new to me. So now you guys can see just how time consuming it is. <laughs> the joys of having no brows because back in the 90s, pencil thin brows were fashionable and this mug jumped on board the wagon. These days I don't tend to follow trends, I t tend to just do what I like. I think as a teenager, I think in general as a teenager you just kind of want to fit in. Although having said that, I never followed fashion with my clothes I went through some amazingly embarrassing stages and some really fun ones I think my favorite stage that I went through was like really goth so I used to dye my hair black well which I still do now on occasion um I used to wear black clothes black lipstick and when I say black lipstick what I really mean is black eyeliner because uh, like different coloured lipsticks weren't the easiest to find. At least that's how I found things. Um, oh, complete hats off to anyone that can do their eyebrows and actually have a proper conversation because this ain't easy. Okay, I think that's about as good as they are going to get, so uh, I'm going to leave it there. So for eye primer today, I'm going to be using my P. Louise Base Pro in Rumour 02. 
I'm just going to pop some on the back of my hand, back of my thumb, back of my hand, wherever. <laughs> I've been really enjoying this, this base, because uh, I find that the eyeshadows really pop, like the colours really pop on it. And I think where it doesn't set right down, it holds some tackiness that grips the eyeshadows. I could imagine that there are some formulas um, that this wouldn't work so well with. But so far, I have really, really enjoyed using it. Yeah, what's uh, what's your favourite eye primers? I'm always up for trying new things. Um, I have the the Elf, the little pot one. Um, that's quite drying, I find. Um, so not necessarily my favourite now that my skin's drying out. Um, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. The Too Faced Shadow Insurance uh, Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eye Priming Base. It's got a really long name, but anyways, I love that one. And obviously the P. Louise. So yeah, do you have any recommendations? I know that Nikki Raven has been using the one from Catrice. Um, so that's definitely on my list to try. So VE Cosmetics had a deal um, with their green products and I picked up this beauty. So the Green Witch palette, oh firstly on the back of the outer sleeve it says Attune with nature, open your eyes to the magic around you. We are born from her and return to her but we live forever as one. Walk barefoot and feel her magic flowing through you. The magic of your ancestors surrounds you. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Allow yourself to hear her voice. Listen to her ancient magic. The knowledge lost is for you to find. The answer is love. I love that. But anyway, so that is the uh, the outer sleeve with that beautiful writing on the back. Um, and just because it's different, I will be keeping this sleeve. Um, so this is the outer packaging of the palette. How beautiful is that? And then on the back you've got the ingredients and V Cosmetics is always cruelty free and vegan. So yeah, it's like a forest and there's little bats flying around. Beautiful. So the inside looks like this. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to play with this and so excited to try V Cosmetics for the first time. Okay, so the first shade I am going in with is Deep. That's a beautiful green matte. Just using one of my uh, Made by Mitchell brushes. I really love these brushes. They are gorgeous. So yeah, just putting Deep through my crease. Look at that. Okay. That has some wicked pigment. I know it's very predictable that I went for green, but Karma Chameleon is all about makeup for mental health, and green makes me happy. It is my happy place. This is blending beautifully. I leave room on the outer part there. I think I'm going to go in with uh, the yellow to blend out the green. Okay, so 
Look at that. Wow. This was the most perfect first palette to try from VE Cosmetics. Um, obviously with it being green, or predominantly green, and called the Green Witch. Just it has a lot of meaning for me, this palette. Why did I wait so long to try V Cosmetics? What is wrong with me? This is beautiful. I'm getting very carried away with this green. Let's give that green a break for a minute. And then I'm going to go in with Dreams. I love this. Each row, each row says like something different. So the top you've got Meditate, Envision and Manifest Dreams. And then you've got Breathe Deep, Walk Barefoot Often. And then True Growth Comes From Love. Beautiful. So yeah. I'm going to be going in with Dreams, which is the deeper green. And I'm going to be placing that on my outer V and just going into my crease a bit. These colours are so beautiful. There's just something really calming and just magical about greens. So looking at kind of colours that we're drawn to, etc. There's been a lot of studies done into um, colours and kind of places. And green comes up quite a lot. There's obviously... You've got the like green grass, green trees, well, the leaves on the trees. I think green is just such a natural colour that, like, that subconsciously it has a positive effect on us. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I find stuff like that really interesting, which is probably why I'm studying for a degree in psychology. Um, it's like the understanding why we do what we do, why, why we think what we think, and, and what coping mechanisms we use. Stuff like that really, really interests me. Oh, and I've just noticed by sitting that down on the top of the mirror there, it says nature is the real magic. Yep, it sure is. This is going to be one long video. I'm one of those that I will blend and blend and blend until it looks to me perfect and if it doesn't then I carry on <laughs> so whilst I've been on this mission for discovering new indie brands um, I've also discovered a couple of YouTube channels that I've been watching um, there's a fellow UK makeup YouTuber and her name is Miss Danny Jade and she is lovely and 
really I find her calming to watch so yeah I will I will link her channel in the description box below for if you want to check her out too I think she does a lot more mainstream releases and stuff but yeah I really enjoy watching her so for blending that all out I'm going to go in with the yellow which is comes it sounds really odd when you uh, say the name because obviously so the name of uh, each shade is like which word falls below it brilliant I love it right so let's Ooh, okay yellow's got some pigment something magical about green and yellow like buttercups daffodils I'm going off on one now these are blending together so beautifully I am not having to work for this at all. Look at that. That's pretty. this is one of the reasons I usually cut a lot out because uh, it goes on and on and then I kind of end up so engrossed in what I'm doing that I don't talk <laughs> but with it being Karma Chameleon I'm sure we are all chatting in the comments section um, if you're watching this at a later date then apologies um, this is going to be an extremely long video where I possibly go quiet quite a bit I'm um, just going back in with deep there just to bring that back a bit oh, look at this this blend is just perfect and then a tiny bit more of dreams um, just literally right in that outer V there. Okay, so for for under my eyes, so for under my eyes, I'm going to go, what am I going to go in with? Hmm. Yeah, I think for under my eyes, I'm going to go in with and, which is this kind of tealy green. I can't help but chuckle with the names. So... I will go in and kind of deepen up the outer part there. I just wanted to get this colour down. Thank you. 
and then in with comes the yellow and just to tie that up with up there just blending that out a bit with the yellow So whenever I've thought of like yellow eyeshadow, I've always found it to be like really powdery. But recently, recently there have been some amazing yellows that I have tried. All right, so I'm just going to go in with Dreams, the deeper green, just on a little smudgy brush. So I just want to connect the upper and lower lids there so I'm mainly just stamping it on I'm just taking the tiniest bit at a time Yes, now that, that I like. Okay, so now going in with the NYX Glitter Primer, I'm just going to pop a little bit on my lids. See, I've been watching a lot of uh, kind of true crime YouTubers and... Uh, I've discovered a new one that I like, another UK one, and uh, and her name is Danielle Kirsty. I will link her channel in the description box below for if you want to check her out. I love the true crime channels. Um, like I've mentioned before, I watch uh, Bailey Sarian. I watch Ellen and Neil, Murder Analyzed. There's some uh, really good ones out there. On oh, Kendall Ray is another amazing one. I love how she does a lot where she includes the families of uh, the victims. I think that's uh, just absolutely fantastic. Just make sure their cases aren't forgotten about. I think for the most part of my lid, I'm going in with Manifest, which is this beautiful shimmer there. Oh, okay. This is pretty. Look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. Obviously, I'm just putting it and I'm just putting it at a diagonal angle, like usual, because I think it suits my eye shape. I feel like I repeat myself a lot now. I do love a good shimmer especially a good green shimmer and this is kind of a tealy green and absolutely stunning so for the inner part of my lid I'm going to go in with growth which is this yellow shimmer yellowy gold shimmer and just placing that one on the oh this is nice oh okay 
Okay. This is pretty. This way you can kind of see just how finicky I am about application. I take forever to get things how I want them. This is so beautiful. But I just kind of drag it over onto the teeny green shimmer there. I've been watching Leora's palette collection. She's uploaded three parts already and there's still more to come. I love how on Leora's channel she tries so many different brands and a lot of the much smaller, less heard of indie brands. And I've discovered some amazing brands just through watching Leora. And I'm just going to nip back in with the brush that we used for the teal just to dab that over the edge a little bit. Not too much, just just enough to assist that blend. Beautiful, look at that. That is gorgeous. So I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes a bit. I need a new one of these. I don't know if you can see it's broken. Uh, it is the best I have at the moment. So the mascara is the Madage Beauty Madeja Lash Mascara. I love this one. As you will already know if you are not new to my channel. It's a really good mascara on its own. Um, and I have actually quite happily worn it on its own with no false lashes. However, I am a sucker for false lashes. I just can't help it. I I just need them. Okay, so to stick my lashes on, I'm going to use the Artitude Cosmetics Catitude. It's their two-in-one liner and lash adhesive. Just give it a good shake. And this is brilliant because as you will see, it makes for a really black eyeliner. Sorry, I can't talk whilst doing this. I'm not doing a big wing today. I just want the, uh, the eyeshadows to be the star of the show. So I always go back over right up against the lash line just to make sure that there's enough of the adhesive there. So these lashes are from Bunny Beauty which is 
a UK indie brand. She has a Depop account, which I will I will list her handle in the description box below for if any of you want to check her out because they're really affordable but also you can get good deals on getting multiple so this liner and lash adhesive catitude is amazing and it just makes and it just makes applying lashes a walk in the park look at that i can't stop staring at my nails the snake print um i don't think that they sell these ones anymore but i might be wrong I was looking at the uh the leaflet that came with them they weren't on that It's just again making sure I have plenty of adhesive for the lash to stick to and as always considering I am doing this on camera and showing I am not doing the best job <laughs> but So that's lashes on. I'm just going to go in with my Ciate London chisel eyeliner and just to kind of tight line under there. I think you can do this beforehand. I think a lot of people do the uh, tight lining beforehand. But I just like to do it now because I can see where it's needed then. So for my waterline, I'm going to go in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Extra Frosting. I love these liners. They're so creamy. They just, oh, I love them. See, another good eyeliner, like pencil form, that I think is amazing is the Mood Crayons from Linda Halberg. Okay. 
Yeah, I really enjoy these. I find that they last all day in my waterline, which is really what you want. So, so I just pop a bit of mascara on my lower lashes. I don't go overboard, I just want them coated just so that you can see I've got lashes there. Perfect. So the contour powder I'm going in with is from Peaches and Cream. And it is their Sculpting Powder Light to Medium. And this is what she looks like. So just taking a smudge of that. I'm just going over where I put the cream contour. Why my hair is deciding to come out to play. Yeah, this is a really beautiful like contour powder. And Peaches and Cream are another amazing UK indie brand. I've fallen in love with their loose pigments. Completely and utterly fallen in love. Especially Super Freak. It is the most amazing kind of acid yellow, beautiful. So just sculpting my jawline and under here to give the illusion that we do not have two chins. The power of makeup, eh? And just make sure it's blended and then I pop just a little bit down to block that out and then for bronzer I'm going in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June I'm just going to be placing that just just above the contour there. I really, really enjoy this powder. Nabla just do some amazing products. I love their close up futuristic foundation and their powder. And I do have a couple of palettes from them. I'm hoping that they will come out with uh, something colourful, like a colourful eyeshadow palette. Um, but we shall see. For blush, I'm going in with my Pout and Shout Contrary Mary blush. It's this beautiful orange blush. I think it's going to go perfectly with the rest of the look. So this is going literally just on the edge and above of the bron bronzer. So this is just going on the edge and just above the bronzer there. These blushes are the best that if you would like to see how many of these I own then my collection and declutter video for powders, contour, bronze, blush and highlight 
that should be going up in the next few days so the highlighter i'm going in with is also from pout and shout this one was custom made for me and it is sunny days beautiful yellow highlight And just... Pat and Shout's highlighters are also fantastic. I spend so much time raving about the blushes that I kind of forget to mention these and I shouldn't because they are the bomb. And just going over that highlighter with my blusher brush just to mesh them together with no harsh lines or anything. And then just taking I'm just taking a bit down the centre of my nose there and a tiny bit on the end. And just on my cupid's bow there and a smidgen <laughs> smidgen on the forehead what's wrong with me today this is beautiful absolutely beautiful so for lipstick, I also picked this up from V Cosmetics at the same time as the palette. This is the Witchcraft Liquid Moisture Lipstick in the shade Spaceman. How beautiful does that look? I'm desperate to get this on my lips. I've had to really kind of refrain. Oh, look at that. Smells like toffees, fudge. Oh. This smells amazing. Oh my word, look at that. That is perfect. So yeah, I've been desperate to try out these moisture liquid lipsticks for a while. Yeah, I don't know if these dry down completely, but it's not uncomfortable. And I also just remembered what I forgot to do. So I forgot my inner corner and brow bone highlight. Of course, I'm going in with my Sunny Days highlighter from Pout and Shout and just popping that on the inner corner there this is perfect oh, look at that And I'm just dragging it kind of down under a little bit there. And also taking it up a little bit just to blend it into 
The eyeshadow is there. And just pop this under the brow. This highlight is amazing. So this is the finished look. Um, just a few words about the Green Witch palette from V Cosmetics. This packaging, look at that. It's just amazing. I love a forest and this just looks magical. So the colour story, if you don't know me, is 100% me. I love greens, greens with yellows. I love an orange with green. It's perfect. And there is a black so you can deepen up anything that you need to. I think this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think this one probably would work as a highlighting shade. Maybe not if you're super pale. But I think that I think that could work. But oh my word, these shadows, I can see what all the fuss is about. The mattes perform beautifully, the shimmers just look beautiful. I, I love it and I love how each row is a sentence and I love obviously on the outer box, those beautiful words on the outer box. Yeah, I definitely, definitely need to try more from V Cosmetics, definitely. I think actually this is going to dry down completely. It feels like it's nearly dry, but it doesn't feel like it's sucking the moisture out of my lips, which is fantastic. So yeah, big thumbs up for the Moisture Liquid Lipstick and oh, 10 out of 10 for this eyeshadow palette. It is stunning, it's stunning. I am so happy I have this. So we've come to an end for those of you who are here for the live chat. Hi, thank you so, so much for being here. I'm sure we've been having a great chat anyway. Um, if you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. So the Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health videos premiere weekly on a Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. I do a lot of colourful makeup looks. I'm a huge lover of all things makeup and a massive supporter of indie brands. So if that sounds like something that you could get on board with, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. And I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.